Hey everybody, welcome back to the Philly Picker YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Joe. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I usually post what sold videos um, from my eBay account and I usually uh, do a few videos on what I pick up while I'm out sourcing for those items to sell on eBay. But today's going to be a little bit different. Uh, for the people that have been around uh, watching my uh, channel from the beginning, it's only been about a month or two. Um, they probably remember a video that I put out. It was probably my first or second video. These Cutco knives that I picked up at uh, the um, Goodwill. Um, I picked up four knives and a fork um, from the Goodwill. They were $9 I paid for it. When I got them home, they were all wrapped up and taped up actually in this, um, in this uh, holder here. It was all taped up and everything like that. So I didn't get a real good chance to um, take a look at them at the store. But when I did get them home, um, they were a little beat up. They were a little dull. Um, so I figured um, after doing some research online about Cutco brand, they actually offer a lifetime warranty for um, if you send your knives in, they'll polish them up, they'll clean them up, and they'll sharpen them. So... That's exactly what I did. I sent these uh, knives in to be um, polished up and sharpened, and I finally got them back. It took about a month or so for them from the shipping time that I shipped them out to them to the time I re uh, received them back. It was roughly about a month. Like I said, I paid $9 for the knives originally. It cost me $9 to ship those knives in, and then I had to pay for return shipping another nine dollars so overall i have 27 dollars into four cutco knives um the fork i wasn't able to send in the only way that i would be able to send the fork in is if um there was something wrong with the handle if it was cracked or melted or anything like that they would replace that handle um they don't do anything else to the fork so i finally received the the knives back today here in the box i did a actually open the box but i didn't take the knives out yet they're still in there in their package so we're going to go over that today and check out the knives um they also uh a couple of the knives that i did have they were um used so much that the uh the actual number or the model number of the knife was actually rubbed off so i didn't know what the um model uh model they were but when I received it back, it looks like they actually put the model number uh, on the wrapping, it looks like. So first up, I have a, it's a Cutco brand knife, like I said. Uh, it's number 1759. Um, looks pretty good. They sharpened and polished it up. Um, handle looks clean. And that was a one seven, one seven, five nine. That next one up is one seven two one. It also looks pretty, pretty nice. There are, if you look really close, there are a few. Uh, spots on there i guess they couldn't get them off or that's what um they were on there actually it looks like it wipes off so i'll wipe that off and uh before i list them um i'm going to list them as being refurbished from the factory since i just got them back here's the bigger one it's um 1725 So that was polished up pretty nice. They are very sharp. So uh, I think I made the right decision. I don't know exactly how much I'll get for these. Um, maybe I'll look up some comps on what each one of these uh, knives had sold for. And I'll put it up in the, in the screen. Um, and the last one is uh, 1729. 
and that looks really good too. So overall, I think it was the uh, right decision to uh, send these in because like I said, when I got them, they were pretty uh, beat up. They were scratched up. They were dull. So Cutco has this uh, program where you can send them in. Like I said, just to go over, I paid $9 originally for all the knives and the fork. Um, I sent the four knives in for $9. They sharpened them for free and I had to pay $9 for the uh, return shipping. So $27 into four Cutco brand knives, I think is a good deal. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to try to get these listed uh, within the next day or so. And um, hopefully we'll see what they sell for. I'll keep you posted on uh, uh, what they sold for and uh, see if it was uh, worth the extra $18 to uh, send them in. But anyway... Thanks, everybody, for stopping back to uh, check out another video. I know this video was a little bit different. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a, a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.